Hey guys, Coach Jennifer here and today I'm going to be giving you my top tips and tricks to stay in shape or get in shape during the lockdown. Tip number one is reducing the amount of food consumed or increasing your daily steps. The reason for that is because daily steps are way lower when you are in a lockdown. So you're walking less, you're not going to work, you're not going to school. So your total daily energy expenditure is way lower when in a lockdown. So what I would recommend is either reducing your calories or increasing the amount of steps that you're doing. So this could be done by using a cardio machine more often if you have one at home or by going on walks more often. A good example of that would be if you're working on a computer uh, from home, it would be a good idea to go on walks uh, during your work breaks or maybe before work and after work. Another tip I like to give my clients is that they can follow a HIIT workout. If it's too cold to go outside or if they don't have a cardio machine at home, they could just go on YouTube, follow a HIIT workout and maybe do that once or twice a day as long as you put it in your routine. Tip number two is getting some exercise in even if you don't feel like it. So forcing yourself to exercise during the day will actually help you and making it part of your routine is going to help you. So exercise has been proven to release endorphins, which are chemicals produced by the body and they are known to relieve pain, stress, and even produce a feeling of well-being. Whether you have a lot of equipment at home or not, getting some physical activity in will help both your mind and your body. There are many equipment-free uh, classes that you can follow on YouTube or on different platforms. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a body weight workout with push-ups, uh, squats, etc. If you like doing yoga, follow a yoga class. If you like dancing, follow a dance class. Whatever it is that is going to get you moving, that's what we want. An approach I would recommend since most people don't have that much equipment is doing two workouts per day. So as long as you plan it in your day, whether you want to do a cardio workout in the morning or a body weight workout at night, it doesn't matter as long as you plan it in your day and you get yourself moving more. Tip number three is staying hydrated. That's a goal that I gave myself. And a trick that I could give to you is filling up a big water jug like this and making it a goal for yourself to drink it once or twice a day. If you don't like water, you can put in some lemon juice um, and it's going to help you drink more of it. Tip number four is consuming enough protein. A lot of athletes are worried that they're going to lose their muscle mass um, because they're at home, they have less equipment. Um, but a good way to help maintain that muscle mass is going to keep consuming the same amount of protein as you were before, or at least try your best to. Number five is to keep supplementing with quality supplements. So over here, I have my go-to health essentials. I have my omega-3, my vitamin D3, which is an essential, especially in the winter, my zinc and magnesium. So these are all by Believe supplements and the code CATRA saves you 20% off at checkout. Right now, all of the health essential products are 10% off. So with my discount, you get a total of 30% off. Vitamin D3 is my go-to essential because it is known to strengthen bones and muscles as well as boost immunity and improve your mood, which is really what you want during a lockdown. Tip number six is to keep using your performance supplements. So a lot of people think that since they're in a lockdown, they don't need to use those supplements anymore since they don't have access to as much equipment and it would be kind of a waste but it's actually false. Now is the perfect time where you want to utilize those supplements. So the reason for that is uh, for most people, the goal right now would be to preserve as much muscle mass as possible while being in a lockdown. So my go-to supplement for that is the EAAs by Believe Supplements. These help prevent a catabolic state along with a good diet with enough protein. I personally take a scoop of this in my shaker um, during my workout. As a rule of thumb, the biggest tip I can give you is to create a routine for yourself. So the first lockdown, people were really used to this. Um, and now we are realizing that this is the new normal. It's now been a year. Why not take advantage of this new normal of being at home and create something healthy for yourself, create a routine for yourself. You don't have to work out every day but to make it a priority to at least do it four or five times a week is going to get you results 
or help you maintain those results that you got before the lockdown. Always remember that it is your responsibility to take care of your health and stay accountable for yourself. Now more than ever, you have all the time that you need in your hands. And even if you don't, taking 30 minutes to an hour to make yourself and your health a priority during those times is essential. So guys, there are many ways to stay active even if you don't have much equipment you can use. Bands, which you can find on $30 for Amazon. You can use your body. You can follow classes. There are many different things that you can do to stay active. Right now, it's not that cold outside. It's max minus five degrees. So you can go outside, take a walk twice a day. Your body will thank you. Friendly reminder that most of my clients who are older and who didn't even train before the lockdowns, they were never people that went to the gym. They were never people that were active are training right now at home and are trying to make a change. So if you're someone who claims to be super passionate by um, bodybuilding, weightlifting, crossfitting, powerlifting, whatever it is, you're passionate uh, with movement and moving, then right now you need to do whatever you can to stay in shape and take control of yourself. And even if it's not for shape, purpose, whatever you're doing right now, is going to make it that much easier for you to perform better when the gyms do open up and you're not going to be starting from ground zero. Any questions regarding coaching um, or if you want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, you can email me at jennifercatracoaching at gmail.com or you can fill out the form in my bio.